And I was like, Mom, I met the most amazing person today. And she's like, oh, who was it? And I was like, his name is Adam, and he's going to change the world. Jenna Royal reflects on the day she met her best friend, Adam. She says he loved making music. She describes him as an exuberant teenager with an old soul. Jenna says from the very beginning, she was captivated not only by his talents, but by Adam's passionate dreams for the future. An excellent student, she says Adam planned to test out of high school and head off to Harvard. I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. And like, we continued to talk, and I was, like, obsessed with having conversations with him. But being different came at a cost for Adam. Adam's mother says it led to relentless bullying. Christine Connell says those hurtful words soon turned into physical assault, and him coming home from school with bruises and welts. But Adam would never tell on his abusers, something she believes caused a lot of Adam's sadness. But you've got to get your feelings out before they eat you up inside and just get it out there. Talk about it. But instead, he channeled his energy into getting straight A's, learning music, and acting in theater. Unfortunately, she says, those diversions did not prevent Adam from spiraling into a deeper depression. In October of 2015, a day that began like any other, as she was waking Adam up for school, she found him hanging inside of his closet. But he ended his precious, perfect life, and he was the most amazing most amazing boy ever. Christine says she knew Adam was hurting and even tried to get him help, but she never thought something like this would happen. Adam told me one time if I made him talk to a counselor, he would kill himself. So I did it because I thought, okay, well, this is the way I'm going to save him. After Adam's death, Christine and Jenna formed a special bond. Christine and Jenna's mom, Joy, even became best friends. The families worked through their immense pain and grief together, and now they're fighting back against suicide. The pair told the I team they attend suicide awareness marches like this one in Metro Detroit to raise money and to share their story. The Out of the Darkness walk is put on by the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. I think there's pressure everywhere. There's pressure to get into college. There's pressure to have good grades. There's pressure to have a to have a job, to get a license, um, to make sure you're hanging out with friends. Adam's story is not uncommon. Adam and Royal are far from the only teens affected by suicide. The Centers for Disease Control recently reporting the suicide rate has hit a 30-year high for teens, going up more than 30% for boys and nearly doubling for girls between 2007 and 2015. Clinical health psychologist Megan Mead Higgins says depression and suicide often have warning signs. People isolating themselves more or not involving themselves in activities as much. They will not do as well on, you know, on school performance, routine tasks, that kind of thing. Meet Higgins says that depression is treatable and should never be ignored. She says if you see something that doesn't feel right, make sure you get help. And that's something Christine wishes she would have understood better before it was too late. Life is precious and you only get one and it's short. So live it to the fullest and that's what Adam would do. With this I-Team report, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV 5.